Mega Hospital, hi. It's Trish from Coastal City Hospital for Hot People. Can I talk to the King CEO of Health, please? Thanks. This is Trent Needleman. Hi, Trent. I'm calling to let you know I'm meeting with a rich investor. I'm sure he's going to give us all the money we need so we can build an airplane runway. That way, Taylor Swift can fly right to the front door. I bet we can finally fix Machine Gun Kelly's voice. All the hottest celebrities will come. Oh, God. I have to go. Goodbye. It's energy. Blue sky thinking. Ugh, another homeless person. And he's talking to himself. Excuse me, sir. Your presence is killing my vibe. Uh, uh, huh? I'm sorry. I missed that. I said your existence is bumming me out. Oh, God, is that a cat locked in a cardboard box? Are you going to eat it later because you're so hungry from being homeless? Huh? No. It's not locked in here. This is Fuzzy. He's my friend. He lives in there and he guards all of my- Needles filled with drugs? Ugh, how am I supposed to get hot dying people to come to my hospital with this insane homeless person right outside the entrance? No, you didn't let me finish. He's- I couldn't help but overhear that your hospital is needing help. Hi, I'm Jane and my hospital has some extra syringes that were donated. Would your hospital like to use them? Ew, no. We only use skim syringes by Kim Kardashian, the only syringe that heals and slims. And none of that's gonna help me get my runway. Oh, great. I was supposed to meet with my rich investor and you two distracted me with your poorness. I'll be back tomorrow and if you and your cat are still here, I'm calling animal control. Ugh. Oh, that is a cute cat you have. Here, I guess you can have these now. Bye. Ouch. Rusty. I look so hot. I'm sure that rich investor will say yes. Oh no, not today. Let's take this offline and pivot to move the needle. We have enough bandwidth for that low hanging fruit. Hello, animal control? There's a crazy homeless man with a gross cat outside my hospital for hot people. Hurry, I think he's so hungry he might try to eat the cat. <laughs> Sir, step away from the cat. Huh? What's going on? He's confused and deranged. Move in! You are clearly homeless by the way you are dressed, and therefore unfit to have a pet. We are going to take you and your cat away. Please, do not bite us out of hunger. No, you don't understand. I... He's got a gun! Take the shot! <laughs> My neck, it's slimming. Don't worry, ma'am. He won't be able to eat any more cats or people. Hi, Trish. I just got back from the free clinic. We have lots of gently used with- Oh, my gosh, what happened here? Oh, I guess you can say, I don't have a homeless problem anymore. <laughs> and that's how I single-handedly created heart disease to make more money! <laughs> wow, man. that's awesome. CEO of Coastal City Hospital for Hot People is here for the meeting. Send her in. Hello, Trish. As you know, we are the CEOs of the richest hospitals. And Jane. You've been summoned here because your hospital is making lots of money. <laughs> the most important part of healthcare. My hospital is filled to the brim with sick, hot people. I even fired all the dumb nurses and replaced them with Instagram models. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Boop.
Maybe hospitals shouldn't focus on the money and just try to heal people by using affordable things like used bandages or hand-me-down needles. How are we supposed to afford three-story yachts if we're giving away hand-me-down bandages instead of designer ones by Chris Stapleton? That's a good question. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. To make sure my hospital attracts only the richest and hottest people, I got rid of that homeless man outside. Now, instead of eating cats and looking poor, there'll be a private jet runway. Look, I made a TikTok about it. <laughs> nice. Of course you did. Swipe, 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 swipe. Just picked up some bands, come and come again, come again. They do what I do, I'm like Simon says. Yeah, I'm the running man, rapping rubber band. Well, that's a cool video of you. But if you want to take over for me and sit at the throne of hospitals... Then you'll have to track down that rich investor and get his tech money for the runway. Yes, sir. Well, very good. That concludes this meeting of the Health Tribunal. A rumbly tummy, a nose runny, all means more money, DOCTORS! This is just a condiment. Excuse me, guard? I need to know if my cat's okay. Hello? I think I can help you with that. <gasps> Fuzzy, you're okay, thank goodness. He's safe and sound. I adopted him. Oh, thank you. I have been sentenced to death for being dirty. Would you watch my cat for me? Of course I will. I feel so scared, knowing that I will die. I too feel so scared that I may die. Now of sadness, if Trish is named new King CEO of Hospitals at the Hospital Awards Show Awards. Yes, that is the same feeling. But don't worry about me. I am smart despite my appearance. I won't worry about you one bit. Goodbye forever, homeless man. Just call me... JD. Well, goodbye forever, JD. I'm Jane, and I'm the admin for the free clinic for poor people. Good luck. Goodbye, Jane. Help! I'm not a real dog! I was acting! I was acting! Jane raised JD's cat as if it were one of her own patients, feeding it lots of yummy cat treats. Meanwhile, Trish tried to find that rich tech investor to give her hospital for hot people more money. She went to all the most popular tech companies, but she wasn't able to find him and got really upset, causing her to throw her personal possessions including a third generation Apple iPad mini. Meanwhile, at Jane's poor hospital, she figured out more innovative ways to treat patients for free. And her patients were very appreciative of it. Meanwhile, Trish gives patients trendy medicine to charge higher fees. And while the medicine was really cool, it just wasn't enough to get her the runway. Meanwhile, Trish gets a notification on her iPhone 7 Plus with 64 gigabytes of internal storage and realizes her time has run out. JD, thank goodness you're still here. I was worried they'd put you down already. Hmm. Look, I brought Fuzzy so you could say goodbye one last time. Thank you, Jane. This cat is very important to me. I won't forget this kind act later in the episode. Well, now it's time for me to die. And for the final award of the night, 
and to present a giant check to one of the hospitals, your keynote speaker, the creator of Twitter, Mr. Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey, you're the disgusting homeless man? That's right, Trish. I was the man you treated so badly before. And I'm not actually homeless. I'm just the poorly dressed creator of Twitter. Uh, uh, but, but you were talking to yourself. Oh, I wasn't talking to myself. Whoa. Those were actually just super complicated tech words I use with my super smart employees. Strategic bet. Blue sky thinking. Scale up or down. But what about your cat? Fuzzy Wuzzy is my personal kitty bank. It's where I keep all of my bitcoins. Jane? I could finally become King CEO! That's right. Money that is now going to... Jane. <gasps> Thank you! Now I can create an entire network of clinics using discarded medical supplies! Thank you so much, Jack. No, that's not fair! What about me? What about my hospital? I'm sorry, Trish. Your patients will now die a slow, sexy death. I understand. And I accept their fate. Oh, he is bad! He has a gun! No, I never had a gun. It's my teleportation device. And how I escaped from that cage. Goodbye. I was a time traveler. And that's how he became Jack Dorsey Time Traveler! In this episode, he'll have to go back in time to save the dinosaur! Alright, Tweets, it's time to refresh the timeline. Bat19.com